Hello friends and family from 192 in Kissimmee. Today we're going to be dining right behind us here at Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen. Again, this is one of those places like driving to work every day going to Disney. We drive past here, it's always busy and just the name of the restaurant really piques my interest. But I did check out the menu and they have a lot of great menu offerings here at Cheddar's. So before we get started, if you would subscribe and click that bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would really appreciate it. And literally right next to Cheddar's right here, they have a Krispy Kreme donut. And then a little bit further down the way, you can see the sign right there for Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville and uh, H2O Water Park. Again, that is just so close and very nearby. And right behind there is Sunset Walk, where I do want to try some of the restaurants down there in the very near future. So here's the first sign you'll see right here for Cheddar's uh, Scratch Kitchen. Established 1979, you got two steak knives right there. I definitely hope to be using a steak knife today. And the address is 7920. But I love like the outdoor feature and all of the uh, different things right here because like the brickwork on the front, again, Cheddar Scratch Kitchen, established 1979. And then like the copper awnings and whatnot. This looks really neat. Also right behind right here, I can see one of the uh, water slides right there from the H2O water park. That looks very interesting. We're gonna have to try that one day. And I am all about trying the different restaurants here on 192 in Kissimmee. Literally right over here is Rock and Brews owned by Gene Stimmons and, and Paul Stanley of Kiss. I'll leave a link to that video that we did in the description box below, but let's head on in. And the hours of operation are Sunday to Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. All right, follow me. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, buddy. Check out all the different fish that they have as soon as you come on in here. This is a really big fish tank. Very nice feature. So we just got seated here at our booth and check out these, I guess they were like a biscuit or a croissant, I should say, with some type of sauce drizzled on them. How amazing do these look? Oh my word, and they're soft. Okay, let's go ahead and try one of these croissants. Look at that. This looks amazing. Oh my word. Honey. <laughs> That's like a honey sauce. It is absolutely delicious. They are hot croissants. Very soft and chewy. They are delicious. Like very good. And this comes with just coming here to eat. Like at Red Lobster, we give you Cheddar Bay Biscuits. You get these croissants here. Very good. Let's get a quick once over of the menu here. Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen. We have shareable appetizers, chips and homemade queso, coconut shrimp, Cheddar's cheese fries. They sound really good. Okay. So these are what these are. Honey butter croissants. And they are absolutely delicious. They have Wisconsin cheese bites, uh, Santa Fe spinach and artichoke dip. And look at this right here. Brandy pointed out. This is the official restaurant of Tyler, Tyler Reddick and the uh, race car number eight team. Like that's just really neat. But they have different sandwiches and burgers, uh, buffalo chicken wrap, classic burger, smokehouse burger, buttermilk fried sandwich, chicken sandwich, Monte Cristo. They even have like combinations over here. They have chicken tenders and shrimp, uh, ribs and chicken tenders, ribs and shrimp. You can get a top sirloin and shrimp for $16.99, top sirloin steak and ribs, and top sirloin steak and chicken tenders. This looks so delicious, guys. Like, there is such a good, a good array of food here. And like the slogan right here, get a lot for not a lot. Of course, being me, I'm in the comfort food section right here. They have homemade chicken pot pies, uh, New Orleans pasta, country fried chicken, country fried steak, which of course, that's what I'm going with. They also have a vegetable plate. Uh, grilled chicken alfredo, lemon pepper chicken. Let's check out some of the offerings on the back over here. For dessert, they have a hot fudge cake sundae. That sounds delicious. Classic cheesecake. Oh wow, Cheddar's legendary monster cookie, honey. They have signature margaritas, uh, handcrafted cocktails. Again, this just looks like an amazing menu. And there's the uh, new buffalo chicken shrimp right here. It's only $6.99. Then they have Dijon 
chicken and mushrooms for $13.29. I will say this, this is one of the better menus since we've moved here to Florida. It has a great array of different things, which is just incredible. Like I'm really excited to try this country fried steak. And also, just show you guys the decor around here. Like it's very rustic-y and it's just really like nice and clean. So here's like some of the theming in here. Like a lot of the uh, boots and table areas right here, they have like the faux grass, and Brandy looks like above her head here, she has maybe like cabbage leaves or cactuses or something like that. But I really love the lampshades, the uh, fans in here, like all the woodworking with the beams, and everything here seems to be brickwork. But right across the way right here is the bar area, and that looks like really nice over there with the um, tile work back there and the big screen TVs. And again, the theming in here is just very, very cool. Again, like it just looks like a really fancy restaurant for like very reasonable prices. I hope the food's good because these croissants so far were absolutely amazing. <laughs> Leave it to me. I finished the uh, croissants right now and literally underneath there is the number eight race car for Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen. You got Cheddar's.com and again it says official restaurant partner of RCR number eight race team. But you think I would have known that because it's literally right under my nose. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video because when we get home, we're going to try some Cougar Gold cheese that our friends uh, Ben and Christina sent us. And I am so excited to try it and give you guys a little food review of that cheese because they really hyped it up. It's supposed to be really, really good. Okay, so I went with the country fried steak and it is seriously, absolutely enormous. And I love the country gravy that's going to be on top of this here. That looks so good. I also went with the mashed potatoes and the uh, the broccoli cheddar, which actually looks like it has rice in there. And it's a little crispy on the top. Like, that looks really interesting. They also give you maybe some garlic toast or something underneath. But this looks very, very good. Alright, let's go ahead and cut into this country fried steak. And it's so weird because, like, you can't find country fried steak in many places here in Florida. They have it at Art Smith's Homecoming, and it's very, very good there in Disney Springs. But this looks very, very delicious. Alright, let's go ahead and try the country fried steak. This looks good. Mm. Okay. The breading is very, like, a light breading which is very good the country fried steak itself is like very very tender it's like actually i really like that a lot i'm very interested to try this broccoli look at the steam in there this broccoli has rice and cheddar like i wasn't expecting the rice but i do like rice mm. That's a very creamy cheese. That is very, very good. Okay, let's get the perfect bite here with some mashed potatoes, and then we have some of the country fried steak. See, this is very good. The potatoes are creamy. Actually, this is something I should tell my dad to get. He would really like this. So Brandy was just asking me, how does this country fried steak compare to Chef Art Smith's homecoming over in Disney Springs? I will say this. Homecomings is about $20 more than this, maybe $15, $20, somewhere around there. This stacks up very, very well compared to Homecomings, though. This is very, very delicious. Okay, so we're just leaving Cheddar Scratch Kitchen. The food, the portions, absolutely delicious. Like, my meal was only $11.79. I planned on getting dessert. But seriously guys, those croissants with that honey drizzle on them kind of felt like a dessert, so I didn't even need a dessert. But stay tuned for future, Rob. When we get home, we're gonna try that cheese. So future Rob here, we're back at home. We're gonna go ahead and sample this Wisconsin Gold uh, Cougar Cheese, uh, sharp cheese that Ben and Christina sent us. I wanna show you guys a little bit of the packaging because it's really amazing. I am so excited to try this. So I wanna show this like literally right on top here stamped. It's made by Ash. It says January 5th, 2021, store under refrigeration. But here's a little bit of the label. Washington State University Pullman. This is a Cougar Gold, a white sharp cheddar cheese. And this packaging, again, it just looks amazing. 
And right back here, you can kind of see a little bit of the uh, facts about it. It's a well-aged, sharp white cheddar cheese made from pasteurized milk, culture, salt, and enzymes. This looks amazing. Now, we even got the emblem right here for Washington State University. So we got our Ritz crackers here already for our cheese, but here's was what the uh, cheese looks like inside. It kind of reminds me of like the consistency just by looking at it, maybe like a cheesecake or something like that. But this looks really good. We're gonna get some of the cheese out and give it a try with the Ritz crackers. So we just got the cheese all cut, the Ritz crackers. It's all official. We have this little cheese cutter right here, but I can't wait to try this. Like the, uh, the texture just feels like a very good block of cheese. And you can't go wrong pairing it with some Ritz crackers. Okay, so I made a little cheese sandwich right here in between uh, the two Ritz crackers. Let's try this. Hmm. You're absolutely right, Ben. <laughs> That's a very, very good cheese. And like, it's extra sharp, which is totally my favorite. This is really, really delicious. Again, shout out to Christina and Ben for sending us this, trees, this cheese to try. It is very, very good. And actually, Luke just had a piece and he can't wait to have some more. So we're gonna share some more with Luke. This is really good, guys. Thank you so much. If you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.